Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. It is the beginning of the month. So of course, as with every other month, I will show you guys 10 amazing apps that you must download on your device in May 2021. Now, another thing you must do is leave a like on this video. That helps out a lot. So make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm and let's get started with the new apps. All right, we're starting with wallpaper apps. I have two different ones. I have this one, which is called Funny Wallpapers. These are actually great live wallpapers that you can install for free on your device. So I have this one with live wallpapers and another one with normal wallpapers. Now this is the app right here. What I love about it, no ads, it is free and it has a ton of beautiful wallpapers and actually the UI is very simple and very easy to use. So right here, what you will see is all kinds of different categories and of course just tap on wallpapers you can browse them you can see right here it shows you a preview of the lock screen and you can see how this live wallpaper will look on your device you can see how cool this one is you can favorite it here if you want to save it or you can tap right there to save it under the camera roll of your device really cool now if you go here you will discover all kinds of different wallpapers from here and of course, if you want to jump into different categories, you can always do that from the categories right here or at the top of the page, you will find the new wallpapers. And again, a list of all the categories. You can also see all the different categories right here. You can see these awesome animations. So again, you will find some really, really, really beautiful wallpapers, which are again free and they are pretty awesome. So just make sure you download them to your device and apply them as live wallpapers to the lock screen of your iPhone. Next up is an app called Art Wallpapers. You can see right here, this is the wallpaper that I currently have on my device. It looks amazing. In this app, you will find some really beautiful wallpapers. This is like the home screen of the app right here. You will find the latest wallpapers that have been uploaded to the app. Then you will find the featured wallpapers then you have the popular ones and then you will also find different collections of wallpapers and of course from here you can go ahead and browse these collections now of course you want to download one of them you tap on it and it gives you the option here to quickly download it or you can just go ahead and save it under the favorites if you want to save it for later very easy to use again and beautiful wallpapers now tapping on the menu you will see the latest wallpapers you will see the trending the, the popular and of course the collections and your favorites from here so really really cool again another free app with amazing wallpapers to get for your iphone the next app for the video is called Ling Jar. Now this one is actually very useful and very, very interesting. I really love the idea of this app. So you know, on the bios of your social media, maybe your Instagram or your like Twitter account, you can have one link. So let's say on my Instagram, I wanna have the link of my Twitter, my YouTube, maybe my Facebook, or other profiles or links that I have, but I cannot have all of them there. I can just have one of them. With LinkJar, all you gotta do is just sign up on the app, create your profile. Right here, I have my profile. You can add like a username and of course add a profile picture as well. Once you have done that, you add the links to your social media. So you tap right there, add a title, let's say Facebook in this case, and you add the URL of your Facebook page right there. It will add all the links right here and of course then you can quickly enable or disable them from here as well now what you can do now is just copy this link which basically contains all of these other links and then add that to your bio so let's say someone goes to your instagram bio taps on that link that you have added then this is this will pop up you can see it will it will show your profile and then will show all of your different social media that you have and they can just tap on it and go to that app and of course to that profile that you have added so you can see in this case right here i only have one link if i add that then it will open to that link with all the different profiles the next app is called power to you this one is actually pretty cool and i really like this app it allows us to track the battery percentages of all of your devices so all the devices that you have signed in into same into the same icloud account all you gotta do is just make sure that you have this app installed on all of those devices so here i have the app installed on the iphone but i also have it installed on the macbook pro on the ipad pro and 
of course on the apple watch as well now from here you will see the battery percentages of all of your devices that you have connected to this app now the cool thing is that it also offers home screen widgets and they look really really beautiful you can see right here we have two different options we have a smaller one which basically displays your devices and their percentages of battery and we also have here the bigger one which shows all of the devices, their names, and the last time that the battery percentage has been updated for each of these devices. Next up is Bluetooth Inspector. Now with Bluetooth Inspector, you will be able to find all kinds of different Bluetooth devices that are nearby. So you can see right here, it will just automatically scan the environment and will find Bluetooth devices and will show them up here. Now what you can do with this app is actually find out more about those devices. So if I tap here, on the macbook pro i can tap on the interrogate and it will basically show me all kinds of different details regarding this device so you can see right here it shows the device info it shows everything that you need to know regarding this device so you can do this for basically any device that you find nearby maybe your home or you're interested to know what those, those devices are you can actually just go ahead and take a look at them using this app the next app for the video is a photo editing app called Background Remover. It is pretty simple to use. It doesn't have that many options. All it got is basically here a place where you can load any of your pictures and it will basically just keep like the main subject of the photo and remove the background. It works pretty well. The results are pretty good. Of course, that will be based more on the scene of the photo if you have like a subject that is kind of more in focus than the background it will work perfectly so let me just load a picture here so here i have a picture and you can see it does the job pretty pretty well so automatically we'll just delete the background from the subject of the photo so if you need something like that then this will be the app for you you can see it's pretty simple to use just load the photo anything will be done automatically tap to save to library and you're good to go the next app for the video is a video editing app called pixelify this one is really interesting so if you want to hide something on a video then this is the app for you all you gotta do just make sure you go ahead and load any of your videos and from here you can find faces automatically with this app if you have like a video where you want to like cover some faces or if you just want to cover an area you just tap right there you can have a static like pixelated area or you can just choose following and basically it will just follow the object that you choose so here in this case if i just want to cover like this iphone what i can do here is just select that part and tap on apply once it applies the pixels here you can see right there i can tap play and it will actually just follow the object and it's really really awesome and it works pretty cool it is very easy to do now if you see something like this on a video where basically these pixels are following an object you might think that you will need an advanced like software to do that and of course have a lot of skills but this app will do that very easily for you and it's pretty awesome and of course it might be very very useful now once you're done with this you can tap the save button to save the video under the camera roll and by tapping right there on the dots you can also choose the pixel size and of course the quality of the video next up we have a photo editing app called we photo now i like this one because it is free doesn't have like ads and some stuff like that and it's very easy to use and it offers quite a lot of tools to actually customize your pictures so you can see right here we have all kinds of different filters that we can apply to the pictures you can also go between like different categories of like the different filters right here and apply them to your picture now once you're done with that you can tap here and you can actually do like the normal things that you do on photo editing apps like change the brightness the contrast the duration and all that stuff but what i really like about this app is that you can get, it can actually create some pretty cool wallpapers for the home screen of your device simply by swiping here and go right here to the blur option and if you add blur you can see you can like create some really awesome wallpapers that you can apply then to the home screen of your device 
Next up is an app called Next Icon. Now, customizing home screens on iOS 14 is of course very popular. Now you can get from this app a ton of different icons for the home screen of your device. You can see a list here of different icons. You tap on them, you tap the install button, and you have here system and app icon. So if I tap just right there, you can see all I gotta do now is just tap here and tap allow. And this will create basically a profile which will be installed on the settings app. You go on the settings app and install the profile and you will have this, basically these icons on the home screen of your device. Now what you can do here is also create your own by tapping the plus button. Right here you can create your own icon for the home screen of your device so you go right here and you choose basically what you want to do what which like app you want to customize basically which icon of which app you can choose different backgrounds here you can go ahead and add like di different symbols we can see right here we can add like a name for this we can do a bunch of things here so add maybe text or something like that just like that so let's just try something here So basically you can add anything you want and of course just like customize that any way you like. So with next icon you will be able to create your own custom icons and also install any of these packs of icons which will look really beautiful on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. And last but not least is an app called Meme Keyboard. Of course you want to have some fun and you can do that with Meme Keyboard from the iMessage app. Now from the iMessage app, all you gotta do after you have installed this app, basically it's used from here, don't need to actually open the app, just swipe here and you should see meme keyboard. If you tap right here, you will find all kinds of different memes that you can use from this app, which is actually really, really cool. So right here, just tap on one of the memes that you want to use and they will be displayed right here. You can send them to anyone you want. You can also tap on create meme and use any of your pictures or any gifts here from this app or any memes. And then you can go ahead and create your own, customize them, add text to them and stuff like that. And then of course be able to send them to someone. So that is pretty much it for this video guys. These are 10 awesome apps you must have on your device in May 2021. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next one.